In just under two weeks, no more movie theater stops will be necessary as you'll be able to find all that Friday night entertainment on the gridiron. We are that close to the start of high school football. This morning, we checked in on coach Ted LePage and the Jefferson City Jays. Today was the best practice of the day of the year for the team, excuse me, picture day. Players, coaches, families, friends, they all came out for some smiling photos. Last season, not too much to smile about, but also not too much to frown about either for Coach LePage. The Jays had a mediocre 6-4 and four record, but a disappointing end to the season, a home playoff loss to Rockbridge. But now it's a new year, a new team, and according to LePage and the players, new and better chemistry. Each one of these players care about each other. Our practices so far this year have been nothing short of amazing as far as the chemistry side. Now, I don't know if the X's and O's and the Jimmy's and the Joe's are very good, but boy, they're a lot of fun to work with, and there's no drama on this team. We like to work now, and we had, had a little problem with people that were worried about themselves, and those people are gone now. We have a bunch of strong leaders on this team, and it's not one person doing it. It's the whole team just rallying together and just getting the job done. No job done yet, but Jeff City will look to get off to a good start to its season on August 22nd against McClure North. And then, week three, the Jays will be featured in the Friday Night Fever Game of the Week against Hickman on September 5th. Stay tuned to KOMU throughout the fall for constant coverage of the high school season. For the Missouri football team, meanwhile, Matty Mock is the guy at quarterback this year. There's no question about it. But who will be the backup in case of emergency? KOMU8's Eric Kelly tells us about the fight for the most crucial non-playing position in football. With the recent string of quarterback injuries over the past two seasons, the backup quarterback competition between Eddie Prince and Corbin Bergstresser could prove to be one of the biggest outcomes of fall camp. I think we both bring a lot to the table as far as the pocket passer. I mean, he's a great quarterback. I've looked up to him since my first visit here, unofficial visit here, and he just brings a lot to the table on the field and off the field. And he's a great leader, and I'm excited to be competing with him. I think it's not competition between each of us. I'm not competing against him. He's not competing against me. Uh, it's, it's competing against ourselves and uh, just trying to be the best quarterback we can be. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, if, if we compete to be the best quarterback we can be, each of us, and including Maddie and Marvin and Johnny, um, you know, it's up to the coach's decision. And, uh, you know, as long as at the end of the day we are the best quarterbacks, uh, it will be the best for the team. They're smart. They know what they're doing. When we're in the film room, they're always uh, – they, they know what's going on. So so that's a big thing for them. They just got to keep, keep competing against each other, competing with me, and, and that's why we're going to get better every day. The team hasn't commented on who's the favorite to win the job, but we'll find out more about that as camp rolls along. From Mizzou Fall Camp, Eric Kelly, KOMU 8 Sports. Thank you, Eric. The Tigers' backups in the last two years have started a total of eight games, so Bergstresser and Prince will have to stay ready this fall. But you know who else is ready and a bit desperate? The Kansas City Royals. They are ready, desperate, and currently in position for a playoff berth that hasn't happened in 29 years. KC looking for its sixth straight win on Husker night. Bottom five, former Nebraska Cornhusker Alex Gordon goes yard to right field. That puts Kansas City up one to nothing early on. And look at the Huskers fans loving it in the crowd. And that is all the help that James Shields needed for the Royals. He was masterful. Gets Matthew Duffy and then Buster Posey goes down swinging in the fourth. Shields earns the complete game shutout. Royals put up four more runs, win this one 5 0, and are now a game up on the Mariners for the final wild card spot in the American League. Cards, meanwhile, taking on Baltimore. Last night, Justin Masterson struggled in his second start. Not much better for John Lackey tonight in his second inning. It's Caleb Joseph hits an absolute moonshot. That thing leaves the yard, and with that dinger, Joseph has now homered in five straight games. The first time a catcher's done that in Orioles history. Makes it 3-2. to two. Card's still in this one in the fifth, though, but not for much longer. Delman Young hits a line draw that clears the left field fence. That makes it 8-3. to Back-to-back, -back. poor follow-up performances from Masterson and Lackey in consecutive blowouts as the Cards go on to lose this one 10-3. And that's all for sports today.